Mystery of Talara, Volume 2. This is Restoration. By Mera. Gif. Gif, Gif. She felt nothing. Darkness enveloping her body and mind. A pain surged through her leg. With that sensation, a great feeling of cold washed over her. She opened her eyes and saw that she was drowning. Her left leg not move at all. Using her right one and her arms, she pulled herself up towards the moons above. It was long, it was long way through the swirling currents that wrenched back at her. At last, she broke the surface and sucked in the cold night air. She was still close to the rocky shoreline of the capital city of the Kingdom of Amnor. The water carried her quite a ways from the point where she fell at Ilstia Rock. Not fell, she thought, correcting herself. She had been pushed. Further down the current, she allowed herself to lose grip. From there, the steep cliff walls sloped lower until they were close to the water's edge. The silhouette of a large house on the shore loomed ahead. As she neared it, she could see smoke rising from the chimney and the flicker of firelight within. The pain in her leg was great, but greater still was the chill of the water. The thought of the warm hearth fire was all the motivation she needed to begin swimming again. At the shore's edge, she tried to stand, but found she couldn't. Her tears mixed with the seawater the sandy rock. The simple white sheet, which had been her costume at the flower festival, was tattered and felt like a weight of lead across her back. Beyond the point of exhaustion, she fell forward and began to sob. Please, she cried. If you can hear me, please help. A moment later, the door to the house opened and a woman stepped out. It was Ramke, the old lady she had met flower festival. The one who had started and cried, it's her! Even before she knew who she was. By contrast, when the old woman came to her, this time there was no glimmer of recognition in her eyes. Why, Zethiet, are you hurt? Ramke whispered and helped her up, acting as her crutch. I've seen that gown before. Were you one of the dancers at the flower festival tonight? I was there with Lady Ilya Reyes, the daughter of the king. I know. She introduced us, she groaned. I call myself Yana of Daggerfall. Of course. I knew you looked familiar somehow, the old woman chuckled, and led her hop, led her hop by hop across the beach and into the front room. Memory isn't as good as it used to be. Let's get your worm and have a look at your leg, that leg. Rim, Rimki took Yanya's soaking rags and covered her with a blanket. As she sat at the fire, as the numbness of the chill water began to ease her, she fully abandoned her to the intense agony of her leg. Until then, she had not dared to look at it. When she did, she felt vomit rise at the sight gash, fish-white dead flesh, plump and swollen. Uh, thick arterial blood bubbled up, splashing on the floor and screamed. Oh dear, said the old woman, returning to the fire. That must be rather stain. You're lucky that I still remember little of the old healing spell. Ramke seated herself on the floor and pressed her hands on either side of the wound. Yanya felt a flare of pain, and then a cool, soft pinching as it trickled. When she looked down, Ramki was slowly sliding her wrinkled hands towards one another. With their approach, <coughs> the lesion began to mend before her eyes, the flesh binding and bruises fading. Sweet generous, Yanya gasped. You've saved my life. Not only that, you won't have an 
ugly scar on your pretty leg. Rampy chuckle. <laughs> I had to use that spell so many times when Lady Julia was little. You know, I was her nursemaid. I know. Yana, Yina smiled. That was a long time ago. But that was a long time ago. And you still remember the spell. Well, you're learning anything. Even the School of Restoration. There's always a study of... There's always a lot of study and mistakes. You learn from what I do. Once you... Once you're as old as I am, there's no, there's no longer any need to remember things. You just know. After all... I've probably cast it a thousand times before. Little Lady Julia and the little Princess Talara were always getting cut and bruised. Small wonder. The way they was always climbing all over the palace. Yina smiled. You must have loved you must have loved Lady Julia very much. Still do, Rampy beamed. But now she's all grown and things are different. You know, I didn't notice it before because you were all wet from the sea. You look very much like they like my lady. Didn't I mention that before when we met at the festival? You did, said Yana. Yina. Or, or rather, I think you thought I looked like Princess Lara. Oh, it'd be so wonderful if you were the princess returned. The old, the old woman gasped. You know, I killed her. <laughs> when the former royal family was killed, by me, of course, and everyone said the prince... I don't know if that's true. I have not read all the books in Skyrim. And everyone said the princess was killed, uh, though we never found the body. I think the real victim was Lady Julia. Her little heart just broke for a while. Looked like her mind did, too. What did you mean? asked Yana and Yina. What happened? I don't know. If I should tell the stranger this, it's fairly well known in Camelon. I really feel like I know you. Rampy struggled with her conscience and then released. Julia saw the assassination, you see. I found her afterwards, hiding in the terrible blood-stained throne room. She was like a little broken doll. She couldn't speak. She wouldn't eat. I tried all my healing spells. It was quite beyond my power. So much more than a scrape of the cane. Her father, who was then Duke of Holy Alliance, sent her to a sanitarium in the I thought her, her whole family was killed. I thought I'd send her to a sanitarium in the country to get well. That poor girl, little girl, cried Nina. Took her years to be herself again, said Rampy, nodding. And in truth, she never really returned altogether. You wonder why her father would... You wonder why her father, when he was made king, didn't make his... make her his heir. Thought that she was still not exactly right. In a way, as much as I would deny it, I correct to think so. She remembered nothing. Nothing at all. Do you think? Nina considered her words carefully. She would be better if she knew that her cousin, the Princess Talara, was alive and well. I thought they were sisters. What? Now their cousin? Rampy considered it. So, maybe not. Sometimes it's best not to hope. Yina stood up, killed the old lady, finding her leg to be as strong as it looked to be. Her gown had dried, and Rampy gave her a cloak, insisting she protect herself against the cold night air, and then kicked her out of her house. At the door, Yina kissed the old woman's cheek and thanked her. Not only for the healing spell, but for the cloak, and for everything else in kindness she had of kindness she had ever done. The road close to the house went north and south. To the left, the way back to Cam Lorne, where secrets lay to which she alone held the key. To the south was Daggerfall, her home for more than 20 years. She could return there and enter her possession, profession on the streets very easily. For a few seconds, she considered her options and then made a choice. 
had not been walking for very long when a black carriage drawn by three horses bearing the imperial seal together with eight mounted horses passed them. What a long time. Before it rounded the wooded pass ahead, it stopped suddenly. She recognized one of the soldiers as Norbuth, Lord Strauss, the manservant. The door opened, and Lord Strau, Strahlet, uh, himself, the Emperor's ambassador, the man who had hired her and all the other women to entertain at court, stepped out. You! he frowned. You're one of the other prostitutes, aren't you? You're the one who disappointed during the flower festival? Gina, am I right? All that is true, he smiled sourly. Except my name, eh? Except my name, I've discovered it is not Gina! I don't care what it is, said Lord Strau. What are you doing on the south road? Paid for you to stay and make the kingdom merry. If I went back to Cam Lorne, there would be a great many who wouldn't be merry at all. Explain yourself, said Lord Strau. I did. He listened. And he killed her. <laughs> because obviously, and having not read volume one, she is clearly Tamara, right? Talara? Go. Oh, Lydia, did you enjoy the story? Of course you did. 